And in this video, it's time for the Werther's Original Vodka to be re revisited. So the Werther's Original Vodka is coming out to play yet again. So I've got my pack of Werther's Original, just one pack. I've got a jar. Actually, I could have, probably could have found a slightly bigger jar, couldn't I? But there we go. Um, oh, you wouldn't think they'd be that difficult. Lovely. You, all of you are just going to sit there and watch me just open up an entire pack of Werther's Original. GBG, GBG. Gibi gibi bi gibi bi bi Right then, there we go. Bosh. So that's one pack in and I shall now add in uh, 500 ml, pardon me, half a litre of 40% ABV vodka. And I'll just pop the lid on it because accidents happen. Now, we'll leave this for a while to dissolve all these um, lovely Werther's Originals and then we'll be back in a short while. Hey, and here we are back again, um, six, seven hours later, and as you can see, the separation has occurred, as per usual. Um, but I don't have uh, a phobia against this happening. Obviously, you just shake the bottle up and you're um, good to go again. But this is about my experience and experimentation with this one. And uh, I got a comment not long ago from Amp The Best. Now, he saw a video on um, oh, Action Lab, that was it. And they used a small device that created a vacuum in a blender and they successfully managed to merge oil and water together and for them to stay in suspension with each other, unlike what would happen like this. Now, Amp The Best said, i tell you what, why don't you use your little wine stopper and plunger, bosh it in the top there and give it a go. Fantastic idea. Oh, I love ideas like that. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Now, that may be down to the fact that I couldn't get enough vacuum into the bottle. I don't know. Um, but it was worth a shot. It really was. So thanks for that. So going back to this again. I got another suggestion from uh, Tim Simpson, I think it was, about using some gum arabic and some xanthan gum. Now, it worked, okay? And to prove it, I have it here. The Werther's Original Revisited. This was made two, three weeks ago, easily. Um, and the consistent um, colour in this one is completely different to this one, as you can see. This does have both the gum powders added into this, but what I found was that the xanthan gum really worked. Actually, it worked too well because this ended up being like wallpaper paste. Ooh. Mm -mm. So, the plan of action today is that this has got half the amount of alcohol than this one. Uh, but they both still have one pack of Werther's Original in here. So this one should really pack a punch with the flavours coming from the Werther's Original. But I'm only going to add in some xanthan gum into this one and also oh, a very, very small amount to see if I can get the suspension happening, but without it turning into wallpaper paste. So the Werther's vodka gets chucked into the blender. 
and I spin it up to a nice steady speed and then I slowly and I mean slowly add in one eighth of a teaspoon of the powder and as a comparison you can see unfortunately that the separation has still happened so it all goes back into the blender again and I add in another eighth so the total so far is one quarter of a teaspoon. Well, at the end of the first day things looked quite promising, but unfortunately on the second day, as you can see here, it's definitely slowed the separation down, but it is still happening. So back into the blender it goes again, and fingers crossed this will be third time lucky. So this is a couple of days later, uh, bring the total to 3 eighths in the 500 ml of Werther's original vodka re revisited. On to some tasting. Right, let's give it a go. Shit, mom, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. That has got the moves. Unlike myself. Flavour wise, brilliant. Not only has the xanthan gum, this is a good side effect, not only has it stopped the separation happening. Because it's thickened it up also, it's made it, you know, that impression of how much more creamier this has now turned out to be. That's got a hint of the uh, Irish cream Baileys about it. And in saying that, a few, or even only a couple of um, coffee beans put in this for a couple of days and then taken out, that would work. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Oh, now, if I ever come across those, I'm going to buy them and do this. And also, secondly, I was thinking about maybe um, a fresh sprig of mint in here, only for a couple of days, would also would work really well. Oh, shut the front door. They make that as well, do they? Okay, right. So I do have some options with this and adding whatever flavour I could think of, really. Oh, my God. That is brilliant. That's more like it. So, thanks ever so much for watching. And until next time, make sure you keep on shining.